Skatosis episode number 85, brought to you by OldDudeSkateCo.com. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Skatosis. I'm Drew Domkus. I'm Aaron Monty. And uh, basically, we're just uh, obsessed with skateboarding. We love it. And we're back for another dose. Another dose. Looking for Feels a, like it's been a while. Looking for a fix. <laughs> <laughs> Give it, me the needle. It has been two weeks because we did not record a show last week. So if you care, I apologize. If you don't, okay. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, last week was... Uh, we went to Sheboygan, dude, the uh-huh. first time at the new park. It's not even grand. They, haven't, they have not had their grand opening yet. It's mm-hmm. not landscaped or anything. Uh, but, dude, it is skatable. Are they doing more around it? I don't think they're making any more cement. No. I think they're just going to landscape it. Or else they would have done it. Yeah. Unless they ran out of time and there's a phase two, but I think that's the park. Mm-hmm. You know? so, there's a lot of land there. So, well... There's a lot of land on this planet. <laughs> Fair. Good cement at all. If Fair. we have the money and the, <laughs> the manpower uh-huh. and the budgets and you know all that. Get back out here, grind So like. they were able to round up enough money to mm-hmm. build that. Mm-hmm. And I appreciate it. Uh, that park is pretty sweet. I wish it was a little bit more spread out. It's actually really cool if there's nobody around. Mm-hmm. But as soon as it filled up full of scooter kids and bikes, then it was like, wow. Yeah. Traffic I mean, jam. that's people bailing everywhere yeah and so that was a little crazy but man what an awesome time because uh we showed up there around noon or so Mm -hmm. and like there was about 18 people by the time that by the time we left there was probably about 18 faces i recognized Mm -hmm. you know like barn burner crew cream city guys the dude from midway was there Mm -hmm. i brought some appleton fellas yeah appleton guys so Uh yeah surfing bird like everybody was there it Mm -hmm. was so cool to just see uh so many of our friends here. And it was finally a little warmer. We would finally get out there. Yeah, it got a little bit windy at the end, but um, definitely manageable. Uh-huh. You guys were picking out ice before I got there, though. Yeah, dude. So, like, the, the shadow in the bowl, uh-huh. there was still a bunch of snow, and then under the snow, like, we shoveled it off, but then it was still just, like, a layer of ice. Mm-hmm. And so, I don't know, dude, if... I tried not to post too much video of that because I don't know if that's good or bad. I mean, if it matters, but like hammering a piece of ice on fresh cement, dude, that's not even six months old. I just don't know. Oh, oh, you kind of felt bad about uh, it. Yeah, I did. Yeah. You know, so I mean, I, you know, I didn't mind shoveling it out, but I mean, dude, we were hitting it, you know, it uh-huh. was a hammer and a chisel were on it. I mean, it wasn't hitting the cement, uh-huh. just the ice. But I just don't know if that impact would really damage it or not. And I think they'd only understand. Only time will tell. Well, I don't think they'd understand you gotta at do, all. You I gotta think do, they would be pissed. Grindline? Hell yeah. Grindline would be like, you got to do what you got to do to skate. You think? Or just skate around it. They're like, hire us back, we'll fix it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Hope, They're all about skating, right? Oh, man, you're too close, I think. I think it keeps popping. Can you hear that? Uh-huh. Yeah, don't get so close. Sorry. I'm right in this. But, uh... I just I just hope that there's no damage from it because that park is huge. I mean, the bowl is mm-hmm. huge. The park is not huge. Mm-hmm. But the bowl, dude, that is serious. There is no mellow area in that bowl. Right. Anywhere. Like, if it doesn't... The shallow end is not that shallow. Uh-huh. You know, and it's vertical everywhere. And in the deep end, it's had to be at least a foot, foot and a half of pure vert. Uh-huh. Yeah. How deep is the shallow end? You know how deep that bowl is? It's like is? probably maybe eight feet, seven foot. I mean, that's deep. I mean, yeah. uh, maybe... No, it's got to be six, six to seven. Yeah, because you know you're like you're, I dropped in no. I'm still too close. Yeah. I dropped into like no problem. Yeah, yeah. The dropping in's not that big a deal. Uh-huh. But, uh huh. But for you, <laughs> I didn't drop in on the deep end. But that one kid was just rolling right in. Hans. Uh, no, no, no. That other kid that oh. was there. I, I don't. I don't know who he oh. was. Oh, Hans the, was too. Yeah, Hans. I guess in the deep end. Hmm. Yeah, so he you, came out and then rolled back in, so which you, is the raddest thing. Yeah, you brought Hans and Jake. Uh-huh. I'd seen Jake skate, you know, quite a few times, and uh-huh. I knew how good he was. But dude, Hans was just blowing me away on some of the stuff that he was. I mean, to, to see somebody for the first time Absolutely. roll out of your car and just kill the bull, and uh-huh. like, all the stuff he was doing. So it was fun to. Uh, I wanted to skate as much as I could, but dude, here's the biggest bummer I had that day. Mm-hmm. Okay, I get there, 
super excited to just start skating. Mm -hmm. And there's, you know, I didn't go into the bowl right away because we were chiseling all the ice. You know, we actually didn't even start that right away. We just started skating the the street, you know, part. Uh I didn't realize that was going to be our plan was to go chip it out. So we're just skating the round. But dude, I didn't stretch. And I and I never push, uh-huh. so like I pulled my right quad really early, dude, mm-hmm. really early, and so like all of a sudden everything sucked. Mm-hmm. I had a, I I pushed it all day because you got I mean you're using that every yeah, time. Yeah, I was pushing. Yeah, every time mm-hmm. you're skating, every time you're pumping, everything is with that quad. Dude, mm-hmm. I totally pulled it right away. It sucked. I dude. felt like so. I really like about that park mm-hmm. is one thing. It's like symmetrical mm-hmm. in the sense of like the stairs and like. Each side is the same thing. Almost. To go back and forth on. Yeah, you can mm-hmm. kind of go front side, back side. Yeah. Um, and the banked, like everything's kind of like banked in, like the right. mani pad. Right. You really got to push getting into those things. You do. Even dropping in on the other side. Unless you're just able to keep that speed up, because there's a couple of dudes that were just cruising around, and everybody's yeah. in his way because he could just hit everything. Like yeah. Jake. I mean, they use that corner with the transition to just pump out of it and go flying mm-hmm. to the other side over that ledge up the gap. Mm-hmm. You know? I was if having you know a hard time pushing if you know what, Yeah, if you know what you're doing, you can find the speed. Yeah. But for me, for sure, I had to push everywhere. Mm-hmm. I don't know. There was a couple of things that I was like, man, that the, the one quarter pipe wall, mm-hmm. it comes down right into a rail. Mm-hmm. So that just seems so Yeah, weird. that you one kind of sucks. It's because you have weird. to do, you almost have to do the whole thing. You have to do the whole thing or just go up on one tiny end. Mm-hmm. I mean, you can't, you know, unless you and get I a hippie jump skate. it right away. Yeah. Well, you can't even hippie jump it, though. There's like, it's, bar- it's a it's, double bar. Yeah, there's bars underneath. So that was weird. Another complaint about that park is that there's no mini like transition there's no small except for that one little quarter pipe that's up right in like like front and center of everything that one little quarter pipe everybody was sitting on oh yeah that's the only place where there's a small transition mm-hmm. everything else is really big mm-hmm. I mean, there's no mel- and there's i wish there was like a like off to the side a smaller mini bowl mm-hmm. or a mini half pipe you know mm-hmm. what i mean just something or that, just a smaller transition smaller transition mm-hmm. that would be that yeah, would, that is kind of weird yeah, spot. Now that I think about it, just that litter one—that's the only one. Mm-hmm. You're right in everybody's way. You're in cross traffic, unless it's just you. Mm-hmm. Then that's the cool. That little park spot. would be so fun if it was just you. Yeah, I saw that uh, uh, some of those dudes were back there this morning, and it looked empty. Oh, so I was like, yeah, like before the scooter crowd. Yeah, they were they yeah. were pretty bad. They were terrible. That one kid was chucking quarters down into the bowl, down the transition. I was like. Dude, I That's totally fucked. Yeah, I yell. I had to yell at kids. Uh-huh. You know, totally. I had to get in this. This kid's is face. this is where we're at now. Yeah, it was terrible though because I mean, you get a skateboard wheel caught up on a quarter. Yeah, you are wonder if somebody's flying. like. I said, dude, you could dropping in on that. I said you could kill somebody. I mean, if they got caught up, you literally could fly head first into the rail mm-hmm. or a hubba or something. I didn't see them do it in the bowl. They were doing it on that that where it was the two transitions with a bank in between. Oh, they were sitting up on that quarter pipe, and as I was filming people going around me uh-huh they were dropping quarters right into that court that transition uh-huh. i mean you could have ate it on that i would saw it come right by me uh-huh. i was like whoa whoa whoa! i told everybody and then i i Dude. maybe they were rolling i don't know if it was the same kids but they were like i don't know they were dipping like two kids were running into the bowl when people were like about to roll in. <laughs> that was terrible i saw like some other kids were sitting on the edge of the bowl mm-hmm. and then somebody went in for a run it was jake i think and as mm-hmm. he went in for a grind they they lifted their feet or something like mm-hmm. I mean, four or five of us were like, "Dude, get off the bowl! Yeah. Like, get out of there! It's not a bench." Yeah, it's in- so. Hopefully, there's areas when they landscape it that has like a pl- something for kids to go sit on. Uh-huh. They always sit right in the way. They bother me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there was for a time sure. on that little quarter pipe, the only place that there's a little transition. Three or four kids all sitting up there with their scooters. Mm-hmm. I just blasted right in with the grind. <laughs> like, That's the only way they'll learn. Yeah. Or he can like, be like, out of here. or he can be like Ryan. That one time we were at a park in Milwaukee, mm. and he threw the kid's bike over the fence. <laughs> he like, That's a little he extreme. came out of the That's bowl. A little much. <laughs> it I was mean, extreme, but the kid <laughs> got it. I guess, but I mean, I, it's just when the kid, the scooter kids, don't ever like follow any sort of protocol of like taking your turn. Following mm-hmm. a line, waiting, waiting around. They're just like buzzing everywhere. Mm-hmm. While even the dudes on the BMX bikes, they know the drill. You wait your, yeah, you they wait know a the spot. Drill. You take your run. You do, and you get out of the way. Mm-hmm. But no, these kids are just like in. They're just buzzing. It's just terrible. And this is why I usually don't have a problem with bikers. That, yeah. They know the etiquette. <laughs> that was the reason why the dude Dan stopped midway. Uh-huh. So he ended up showing up there too. But he mm-hmm. said he had to stop because the scooter kids just took it over and he couldn't handle it anymore. They ruined it. They ruined. They did. But uh, if, you, that sucks if any too. little kids hearing this, <laughs> never pick up a scooter. Yeah. Well, no, no, no. It's not that. 
It's learn some friggin' etiquette. Yeah. It, uh, it's not well, about I mean, the tool. Still it's don't pick not, up a scooter. I agree, but that's not the problem. Yeah. The problem is these kids don't have any guidance. Their parents drop them off, uh-huh. and they don't listen. I why listen is to it, man. I'm getting like, such a pissed it, off scooter <laughs> man. <laughs> You're so passionate. <laughs> why is it so specific to that, though? Because it's every park. It's every park because I've gone Because a skateboard to. is challenging. And as soon as they no, fall no, no, off, just scooters. No, like, that's what I mean. Never... That's why they're on the scooter because it's easy. Yeah, but why is that etiquette like it's specifically the scooter kids? Because it's not the, like bike because... kids. It's not inline skaters. I don't know why. It's like a, it's a, I don't. It's a disease. It's, it is. I don't understand either. I don't get why it's all because it's not. And other people can you, relate to this. I don't get when you get a bigger guy like even Nitro Circus dudes riding the scooters too. It just oh, looks yeah. so goofy, dude. It's weird to me when adults ride I mean. rollerblades. Yeah, that's but a, that's usually a trip when you see me. an adult these days riding rollerblades because they grew up doing it and that's all they know. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And they're trying that's to be active. Tries. So like, I got to give some respect for that kind of stuff. It does look weird. Mm-hmm. I couldn't. I didn't like doing it when I tried it. Mm-hmm. You know, I got my heelys and it's like I can go certain you know ways, but it's like controlling yourself on two inlines. It's got to be tricky for sure. Mm-hmm. But I, I never yeah, liked that. Either. I don't know. It's. It's like similar to the scooter thing in the sense of how many tricks can you really do? You're like limited to like, like inline yeah, skates, you're sure. limited to like Don't, that absolutely. specific. Grabbing your knee and like goofy stuff mm-hmm. like that. But inline skaters have some etiquette. True. They're not buzzing around and getting in your face. True. Being dumb. They're just trying to, they're just trying to do their stuff. Yeah. So I think it's a daycare mentality mm-hmm. and nobody, uh, they're not willing to even, they don't even care because they're not skateboarders. It's not, there's not a... The scooter is just a means to be annoying. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only reason people right? do it. It kind of. I mean, I don't know. It was very. I mean, it was very frustrating. So that was a big problem, I think, to me mm-hmm. there. But I mean, it's an open park. You, you got to kind of expect that ebb and flow. Mm-hmm. You're gonna have to. If you live near there or we go there, you kind of got to know when to go. Mm-hmm. I would think. And there's a park right next to it, and that's yeah. why there's so many. Totally. And you know there was some parents there, and there was you know there was there was definitely some good vibes, but there was a couple of times where those kids were annoying. Mm-hmm. And then I the other, the other up- critique I have too is that it's all um, uh, what do you call it? metal coping in the bowl. That seems odd oh. that there's not that's not pool coping. Uh-huh. Maybe because it's so big and you can really get around it because it's steel, or maybe because there's potential for bikes and maybe the pegs crack those up worse uh-huh maybe i mean, you know what i mean maybe it's a maintenance thing it's easier to maintain if it's metal mm-hmm. yeah as a, yeah that could definitely maybe be at, you know maybe that like the next tier in pricing was concrete that's what i was thinking or maybe i don't mm-hmm. know but that's kind of I, i've seen the biggest critique of people saying well you know why is that steel i mean mm-hmm. i get it i guess it's it's beggars can't be choosers it's slippery uh-huh i didn't do too much grinding up there like I don't know. I get intimidated. I skated it. I dropped in. I did some stuff, but like I know that I could do way more than I did. But with my pulled quad and just being, it's slippery and new, and I, you don't I, I still it. get that little bit of intimidation where I'm just mm-hmm. kind of nervous. You know, I come back that. to the ramp here and I'm blind, but uh-huh. it's like someplace new. I'm Bulls like, are never my thing. I dropped in and went around the ice and almost wiped out, and then I'm like, yeah. fuck it. See, that was tricky, dude, because those guys were skating full sessions while that ice was there. <laughs> yeah. When we showed up, they had the radio going, old punk rock blasting out the box, and like uh-huh. they were grind, they would skate in the, the shallow end and then dipping in the deep end around the big mm-hmm. ice spot. That old, that older gentleman, Dave. white hair, yeah, Dave? That's Dave. He's the guy with the carving chicken, around the chicken that, bowl. no problem. He's the one with the chicken wall? I officially got an invite from him. Really? Uh, I, I hear about that all the time. Hunter's been there. And I think uh-huh. Tim has been there. But uh, I think... Uh, just, I think Cole's been I, there, I, too. I, I, we, I was talking with him, and I, I officially got an invite. Damn, I didn't know that was him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he was but carving around uh, that ice so easy. It's like an hour and a half south of us. It's like, uh, it's out of this state. Oh. Yeah. That's all I will say. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah, but uh, yeah, so that'll be exciting. I uh-huh. think, yeah, yeah, so so I'm looking for. I'm, I've got other connections now since I'm the old. I'm an old skater dude. Since you're the old I'm, dude, I'm uh-huh. hooking up in other groups He's, around the we state. We gotta get them out here. I'm friends now with the Fox Valley dudes, with the mm-hmm. Milwaukee dudes. Now with this whole crew, and this, you know what I mean. And I got my little crew, and mm-hmm. this barn burner crew is all over the place. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's kind of it's pretty awesome. Epidemic. It is because uh, Johnny P. Shout out. He's on our ODS barn burner message board. Mm-hmm. He's a listener from the that Fox Valley group. Mm-hmm. So That's you have sick. to go skate up with a, like a Jabasa with him or something like that. Or I know mm-hmm. there's other parks. He wants yeah, to I go on. See them post he's in trying Jibasa. to he's trying to plan like a camping skate trip in the summer. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that, that that'd be pretty sweet. That'd be very cool. Mm-hmm. 
even if you can just meet at one of the spots or something, he's trying to make a little route. Uh huh. So, if you're interested, go check that out. It'd be very cool. It would be. We could do like Matt on the road the shows. Matt's always out camping and skating. Oh yeah. Right. Jumping trains. I don't know if he's doing that much these days, but <laughs> <laughs> he's got a car now. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, that would be pretty fun. Skate, uh-huh. Like a homie camping skate trip. Mm-hmm. Definitely wizard staffs. Oh, Taping up those beers. Yeah, absolutely. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, that would be fun. Yeah, that would So yeah. yeah, man. So that was a big uh that was a big thing last week. And so we thought we could try to record at the park. And we knew I knew that was never gonna happen. Uh-huh. It never does. Right. And then you guys took off to go do some street skating. Yeah, they wanted to go hit some spots. Right. They got I was fucking like, gnarly. I went all the way out to this part, you know, spot and then you bail right away. I was like Dude, <laughs> I thought like me and Jake both had that thought that I'm like, we're leaving right now. I know. I was Vinny, like, man, I just barely got started and Vinny you're gone. was like Look, they're hot right now. We need to go. He was like, because they're trying to film this video. Yeah, yeah. he was they're like, I mission. need to. Yeah. yeah, I get it. And they got gnarly. I will bet, dude. Gnarly. They get gnarly wherever they go. Uh huh. Those guys, man, they're just really talented. Mm-hmm. What was that contest thing that Jake was representing Wisconsin for? Remember? Oh, that fifty-fifty contest yeah, on Trans World. It was Trans World. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I mean, very cool. Yeah, he got picked out of the state. Did you see the guy who won that? And I, I, I really wasn't paying <laughs> that attention. That part was fuck. He, he was good. I just watched Jake's. I think he, gr- I think he grinded a, like a triple kink, uh-huh. like a twenty stair or something. It's Jeez. like Jake was like he remembers seeing that, yeah. and he's like, "Come on!" I dude. saw a crazy like seven kink stair or Kevin seven, Kevin Bacon. <laughs> Kevin Bacon. <laughs> <laughs> it was like at least seven eight kink rail in West Bend uh, on Decora. Do you know about that one? I mean, maybe you already know it, but it's like if you go on Decora. Um, you know, off of Main Street uh-huh. where that Walgreens is, and like that, like uh, uh-huh. so. If you go in towards uh, towards the Walgreens, okay, you know, up that hill, up the hill. If you keep going to Decor, so there's like I don't know if it's a hospital or what it is, but there's a huge ass kinked rail there. I mean, maybe stuff, mm. maybe somebody's done something on it, and mm-hmm. I'm just now, you know, just I'm not aware of it. Mm-hmm. But I was like, holy, not for me. But I was like, oh, somebody should skate that. <laughs> where's the K walks when I need? Where's I Jamie? Know. Where's Jamie Ford? Yeah. Because he'd probably do that in the first try, but I was like, it was like the first real big kink rail that I've seen around here. You uh-huh. know what I mean? I don't know. I overlook those so much. I overlook rails yeah, do you all ever the time. Had, do you ever spend much time, though, in West Bend? I mean, I lived there at some point. Yeah, so I don't know. Maybe, and I maybe skated all under it. I should look it up on like Google Maps or something uh-huh. like that. And I've probably it seen it, it's but I'm probably sort of like, nobody's or... going to fucking skate it's it. It's a big building, and it's just like, you know, it's a nice big hill. Uh-huh. And so it slopes down, and I was like, wow, big rail. I'll sh- we'll show Jake. We'll go down Jake and uh, I'll, I'll just get up on it. We'll do one of those ones where I just am um, on the rail already. Stand on yeah, it. Yeah, I don't have to hop in. And then I'll, I would like to try that. I somewhere. tried doing that and I sack. Ugh, so it's still, geez, it's never still, mind. Still, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> it's still doable to sack. God. Yeah, dude. I want to do like a, I don't know. I, I would love to do that stuff, but uh-huh. I just never see it happening. It's was, just not going to happen. <laughs> after after going out with the surf dudes yeah. and then like hitting, like, yeah. I either need to skate rails or. You're just do, like, can I get you some water, guys? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's that's always my attitude on skating. I'm like, what do you guys yeah. need? Can I dry your brow? You look a little sweaty. <laughs> Like, I'll, I, I'll catch I get, the board dude, from going I, into the road. That's why I like the filming part of it because I can just keep, I can if as soon as anything's out of my league, I'll just film. Uh huh. <laughs> jo- I don't know. I was talking to Joe about it, and she's like, "Maybe you should just do rails." Just so do she's rails. like, she's just like, she's like, you're either yeah, going to do it now or never do it. How how how, how broken scary you can it get is, and how broken you can get. I don't think she does, yeah. but like, I Maybe mean, you I show her some halls of meat. Oh god! Or Hall of Meats. I mean, she's seen them though. She's she's yeah, seen no people get fucked. Show her that one of Nyjah coming down that glass one where he slams his like breaks his rib or whatever. No, the oh. Nyjah one at Hollywood High. All st- where he yeah. smacks his oh, head. Yeah, where he hits his head. She saw that yeah. one. Yeah. She thought he was dead. All the, you know when they like slow mo yeah. that blood. <laughs> yeah. There was so much fucking blood. That, that's part of the thing of Ty Evans that like I heard so many people ripping on. It's like it was so art directed. You know he got so you know what I mean. Oh, it looks I mean, so it's, fancy, but it's like yeah. hey dude, that's just a good cinematographer taking yeah. advantage of the opportunity. I'm, like it's not. I'm sure he didn't say okay, hit your head now. <laughs> <laughs> now just can like, you uh, get yeah. a concussion on this one? I mean I'm sure there was other people attending Nyjah while Ty's. You know, filming the blood. Oh yeah, but I mean, Be- Beagle's gonna film the blood. Yeah, you know what I mean. You yeah. gotta get that shit. A shenanigans. And and Ty, I mean, what does everyone say about him? He's a professional. I know. I just it's weird because it, remember, I think you and I were talking about people that are just so hooked on the VX style as opposed to uh-huh. anything digital or mm-hmm. anything. You know, 
they were just ripping on Ty, and I was like, dude. If and I, I, lo- I love the I, VX footage. I'm yelling at my podcast, like, no, dude, I love Ty. <laughs> I was How dare up, you? I was standing up for him. But, um, yeah, dude, so, so you, uh, you guys ended up going out street skating, but then we all round up back at the park, and then we all round up back here at the mm-hmm. barn. And Long so, day of skating. Yeah, so I ended up with, like, two different uh, bits of footage where, I mean, I was so happy to film Jake and Hans. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's so crazy to see such good tricks in my lens you know mm-hmm. as i'm editing i mean your your stuff is awesome mm-hmm. but i see it yeah i know it and uh-huh. I, i've edited a bunch my stuff i'm always happy with my progression but it's the uh-huh. same old things a lot of times uh-huh hunter he's got a bunch of tricks but it's like you know it's a lot of the same uh-huh it's not new tricks every week these are two fresh dudes with a lot of tricks i've mm-hmm. never filmed it's, and it's they, cool. and then we started playing games of skate and it really got me into thinking like switch feeble isn't that crazy oh my gosh okay so yeah I I I can't. So it is that I was crazy. so out of that game. It's, all of a sudden, they just start doing switch everything, and uh-huh. I'm like, I can barely roll up fakie. Uh huh. I just got fakie. Yeah. yeah. So that I was that was so out of my league. I was glad to have a separate game with Vinny. Uh huh. You know because I just couldn't. So that's how a lot of that footage came out that I just put out yesterday. Is like at the end, I just we were all blown out of skate. And we, I just, we just let Hans and, and Jake well, go yeah, at it. Yeah, they played for like they just went on probably for a so whole long. hour. Yeah, there was a lot of tricks I was mm-hmm. clipping out, and then we, you could see us interspersed because we're just doing our own thing. And then <laughs> we're they just started our yeah. stupid things. But man, that was cool. It was fun to teach them some, you know, some tricks. I know that uh, Hans had those sweepers, but like uh-huh. it seemed like neither of them had done a backside sweeper. Yeah, sweeper. I don't think Jake's ever. No, he got them though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that cool. one Hans did where he, he, he it? popped. No, that one oh. where he popped it. He like spun the board. Oh yeah, popped. yeah. I don't. That, I didn't have footage of that because we were still in the game. So oh, I, or the battery died or something. But I know I didn't get the footage of that one. But yeah, that a was very, like very, very cool. Trick. It was like a sweeper, and then he popped the tail, so it spun it, and then he came back in. He and, like spun it like a shove. Yeah, it was it was cool looking. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Now now that you mention it, I don't have any clips of that because I, I remember I wanted to try it again, and I was like, I don't even know what he did. Uh huh. Yeah, I still don't know what that is. Yeah, that was a weird one. Uh huh. It didn't seem that crazy. I don't. That's why I love games of skate because you kind of get into that motion. You're yeah. like, oh, that's not that bad. And it, you, it's just an opportunity to at least try something mm-hmm. you're not familiar with at least once. You mm-hmm. know, just whatever, make a fool of yourself. But it's like you at least try something. Yeah, and like, and you might all if of that sudden, gets you closer, yeah. yeah, you might realize you're good at this something. Mm-hmm. You know, you just don't know until you try. I don't, I don't know why I don't do more sweeper frontside sweepers on the four. I don't know either. Frontside, you got so many more got tricks, those. and you always, you kind of always, you get I go, locked into your comfort zone. Mm-hmm. And oh yeah, that's yeah, my favorite sure. zone. But man, I love just pushing myself. Like I would, so Friday night was, uh, we had a little session here for Hunter's birthday because mm-hmm. he turned uh, twenty four on Wednesday, I think it was, and so uh, happy birthday, happy birthday. I, and so I mean, he's an old dude compared to some guys, right? Mm-hmm. He's part of he's a he's he's a main dude of our crew. He's got another year for senior. Di- um, yeah, he's got to get twenty five. <laughs> Yeah, he's not quite. He's not quite super old yet. Uh-huh. At twenty five, <laughs> he's not the senior citizens. Of he can skating. almost rent a car for his skate trips. That it's twenty one now. What? That changed. Really? Yep. Because oh, I said it go. to Joe the other day. Oh, he's and driving. Sh- <laughs> <laughs> he's renting the cars. <laughs> oh, that's cool. I didn't know. I thought mm-hmm. it was still twenty five. I did too. Mm. Maybe it's just the state. It said federally when I looked it up. Mm, I don't know. Sweet. It but, said uh, some will. Whatever. Whatever. So, anyways, I wanted to just, you know, if he wanted to have a birthday session, who am I to deny? Uh huh. And so, How could you? He wanted to do it Friday because he thought the weather looked a little bit colder over the weekend. Uh huh. And it was probably just easier for him and his guys. Sunday's awesome for us. But, you know, everybody, you know, not everybody can, you know, get out of here and drive super late and mm-hmm. get up super early. Nobody's Work close by. Next day, yeah. So, anyways, Friday was the day. And, uh, man. It was just another good time. There must have been ten of us. Most it was mostly the Beaver Dam crew, mm-hmm. and uh, dude, it's, uh, always a fun time. Always, fun. always, yeah. But uh, I didn't really film. I felt like I just want to skate. I just want to have a good time. So I didn't even pressure. Not you know what I mean. I didn't uh-huh. even. I got nothing to, to clip through. But at the very end, I was I was just really working on frontside five O's, man. Uh-huh. Just, just hauling ass and just clearing the whole thing smooth as I could. Some fifty fifties. But then I was like, I wanted to try to slip into a lip side from the 5-0 uh-huh. and it, I don't know it was just kind of I wasn't getting it yet and then all of a sudden one just one try I popped into a f- lip slide super clean uh-huh. and just slid the whole thing it, as soon as I felt that feeling of just sliding the whole thing I think in my mind even on rails or any kind of board slide or anything in my mind 
I'm always just washing out uh-huh. and I'm going to hit my head or I'm going to hit my elbows or something. Mm-hmm. It's just, I'm going to wash out, going to wash out. And so I think when I accidentally got into it, dude, it was just like, it felt so awesome. Mm-hmm. So you I'm, felt balanced. I felt so balanced. I'm just looking at my feet and I'm mm-hmm. just sliding. It just felt so great. I know that I'm not the first skater to have that feeling. Uh-huh, for sure. <laughs> I'm just trying to I, I think you it. could do flat bars. Yeah, I probably could. It's mm-hmm. just always that feeling of, of washing out. Mm-hmm. That blue square one that Hunter brought is a little tall for me. Mm-hmm. Do we have another I, one? That so I had now I I resurrected that other blue round one that's adjustable. Uh-huh. It had that sleeve that was wedged all the way, and I just fixed it. So I've got that out there. Okay. So I could. To- I mean, I've done them before, but I would like to get better at them. And feel have you done a board slide? I have. Yeah. Boards. Wait. So wait. Yeah, definitely. I've definitely done board slides. I even did it when we built that little. Uh, that little skate park outside, remember with the rails and everything? I even went uh-huh. up that box and I board slid down that too. It's not like I've never done them. Oh, I do remember that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's not like, but but popping over to a lip slide up on the ramp, mm-hmm. I can go to disaster now and then. Mm-hmm. But dude, I was getting these like every time. Mm-hmm. You know, some sketchier than others. I mean, it's like front D, but you're... Exactly, but yeah. you're sliding. Mm-hmm. So then I was trying some back D, so back lips. Uh-huh. And man, I was sliding some of those. And so I'm just, I just want to like, I just want to perfect a couple of really cool tricks mm-hmm. and just be able to do them all the just time. Do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know I, I mean? hear you. As, as bad as I want to do like an invert or an eggplant or like you know, other crazy <laughs> uh-huh. things, as much as I really, really want it, I want to at least hone in some of these other but tricks. But I mean, you're still pushing yourself to learn new tricks. All the time. That's yeah. what I'm saying. I, so I would like to push you to, to, to learn a few more tricks. I, I mean, it's always in my brain. Mm-hmm. There's like, th- I'm like, oh, I'm going to try to learn like these three new ones. Mm hmm. And then I just, I just go gotta, back to fifty shove. I'm I just like, got to. I know. I got to push you, and then you got to listen because you try like once or twice, and then you're back to your shoves. Oh yeah, you I just don't uh, go for it. Listen, right? But you're getting your back fifty fifties. I see them at least on the the little quarter pipe. Mm-hmm. You're getting, and front and back fi- uh, feebles. Mm-hmm. I think those. I want to see you do really, those up on the bigger ramp. I think I think I got back feebles like actual grind. I think you do too. Yeah, front blunt. Is that's, the one I'm going for. That today. is a. You think it's a tall order? That's a very tall order. Let's see. Oh, I would love to see you try it. I just think that's a very tall order. Uh huh. I think I'll be able. Let me see you do front blunt to to or like blunt to fakey, blunt to pivot. Let me see you do blunt to something. Coming all the way in front side, dude. That's that's some. I mean, I don't know. You got those front. Well, you got those front ollies. That's yeah. So maybe you out do. Of a bl- out I of a blunt. You might actually have that really easy, to be mm-hmm. honest, now that I think about it. Because you do pop in and out of that front side stuff so easy. And when I think you... my only thing is like getting clipped coming in. Yeah, but you the way that you do a front side ollie, you pop it even without popping. Mm-hmm. Like when I don't I know first... if I can do that out of a Well, you can blunt. try. Yeah. Well, I, think you, I think you can. Mm-hmm. It's just a matter of how, deter- how, dedica- how determined yeah. are you. Three, three tries. Draft. Three tries, I'm over it. <laughs> That's what I mean. You gotta just go. You gotta just do it until you do I it. No, and so, I don't know. Sometimes it feels so good to like really force yourself to like. You're gonna spend an hour just like going at it. Right, right. And then other times I'm like, <laughs> fuck it. I'm o-. right. As soon as I get a shinner, I'm like, fuck it. I'm over it. Oh my gosh. So I mean, we've been talking like a half an hour just about our local scene, but geez, Louise, how much stuff has been coming out like in these past two weeks? It's so hard to keep up. It, it, Especially it really when we is. skip a week, because now I'm like, man, I know we talked about it, but what did we talk about yeah, on the show? What did we miss? Because like I know I probably held back. I'm like, let's not talk about that. Uh-huh. Like I did three different things before we started recording. Uh-huh. Like no, wait, let's wait. Save it, save it. Like Jamie Foy, killing it everywhere. Yes, and his his uh, golden Foy, golden Clark Foy. Camp. Yeah, that very, part very good is ridiculous. Rad squad, very rad squad. But that mm-hmm. guy can now. I mean, he seems to be progressing even. As good as he is, you can see him progressing. He's doing more transition now. You see him going in and out of no comply, dude. That no comply was huge, huge. And when you see Jamie do and perfect, still how old is he? How many tricks does he have that he just hasn't shown us? Yeah, you know, still. How old is he? Under twenty one. Is he? I thought he was twenty three. Oh, maybe right. He's early twenties. Yeah, for sure. But damn, dude, that guy. And then you see him at the Baker Park. With T Funk, just it up. tearing it up, man. Like the stuff that they're doing on that quarter pipe. I mean, it's just blowing me away. Uh huh. It's in, it's insane. And they got to push to that, or they're like pumping out of something on the other side of the park uh-huh. to get to it's that. It's got thing. that. You know where the stairs are? It's got mm-hmm. that big wall. Yeah. But man, they're just killing. Everything. I mean, I love watching T Funk there all the time. He they put a lot of stuff out, but man, uh-huh. I see Jamie Foy. I don't know what's up with that. 
LL Cool J leg thing. <laughs> I don't, that's the, a, maybe that's like, a, is that a Florida thing? I don't know. I don't know. That's a Jamie but, Foy thing. Rolling their pant leg up. I guess. I mean, it's you know whatever. To each Let's their own. Let's see that leg compared to his other leg. How, ba- how bad are those? Yeah, shins? maybe it's just healing. <laughs> he, <laughs> he, he, a, he doesn't want pants rubbing on it. A, that's, yeah. Dude, that's probably it. Probably he want. Yeah, because they had that picture uh-huh. of the, from that ATV show. I guess was they're it doing ATV? A, well. It was at the ETN Park, and there was Bam, and there was like four different people. They all had uh-huh. shinners. It was some sort of party or something, or was it at the Foy? Maybe the maybe the Foy premiere. I don't know, but it was at that ETN mm-hmm. Park. I thought it was at the ATM. So maybe yeah. that's the leg he's got up. Because maybe because of that one, he doesn't want it like scabbing up into his pants. Yeah, he's like, maybe that's... my nice pants. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta yeah. keep it away. I don't know, but yeah, that's a, I don't know. That's a certain. It's a look. It's a, it's a look. It's it, an he LL can do whatever cool he wants. Yeah, I mean, you really on and off a board. Yeah, I mean, look at like uh, all the stuff Ashad does, and he's just wearing like like swim trunks. Yeah, the yellow swim trunks. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Winning contests, just coming right out it. of the yeah out of the pool into Ashad's the. Into the... <laughs> so I don't know. They're all so fucking cool. <laughs> yeah, man, the Sodi group. Dude. Remember, That's a, remember you, when uh, Nora wore the what is it kangaroo? Yeah, remember the that can, the Kangol? The yeah, hat? the Kangol hat. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was a sick yeah, Nora outfit. is cool, man. She's got that style too. She can pull it off. Uh-huh. All purple. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She's definitely, yeah. You know, she's she's got the style. She's got the style. But um, yeah. So Foy, uh, there was something else that he was doing. Like, what, what was that part you showed me where he's just like doing a grind and catching a ball? Oh yeah, like I don't know what he's filming for there. It's like it Cirque said de Soleil Death video. <laughs> yeah, that he's turning into a circus. I don't. Yeah. I mean, they used to call all the little flip tricks the circusy stuff. You know, like Chris Haslam and all that. But mm-hmm. now it's like, but now you can juggle. Like, who did I see? Um, somebody was juggling. Uh, the yeah. uh, Steve Barra, man, he's been posting crazy stuff on the Barracks mm-hmm. account. And somebody, uh, they were juggling five bowling pins, and then they did a kickflip mm-hmm. and caught it and kept going. Like, what the hell? That's yeah. You're gonna see Jamie Foy doing something like that. Yeah, he's a. I don't know. Can he juggle? I don't. He probably can, dude. What can't he do? <laughs> what can't he do? I don't know. But uh, there was another one that he posted. Uh, Barra did where a girl was on a board and she was bouncing the golf ball on the uh-huh. club oh i did see that and then one. she kick flipped while she was still bouncing it mm-hmm. holy smokes hunter, try, hunter try, just, doing the try just doing that yeah you like that yeah. yeah he did a shove he was, was yeah pretty, just doing that on a golf club just, is pretty yeah hard. that's difficult uh-huh. and i'll do it, the tennis racket i could do that yeah I can keep ping pong well there we go we got that you should try it. i could probably do that today you probably do could. a kick flip that'd be kind of fun no look kick flip into the ramp yeah <laughs> cj cj <laughs> collins style oh man Jeez, but uh, yeah, so his part came up, and I know there was um, what the Vert attack just happened. I'm trying to look for a full live stream of that. I only saw the ending that Bucky won, uh-huh. but uh, I was a goalie oh, ram. Yeah, and uh, what's on today? The Phoenix Am. Phoenix Probably, Am. That's supposed to be going on. Uh huh. I think it's going on right now. But um, Let It Ride had the finale, and yes, we, so that we got to watch game. that before uh, before we um, recorded today. And I don't know if we want to give a big spoiler alert, but you got to get ETN to, to, to watch. Yeah, it. you got it. Yeah. And this is this is me saying it who, who does not have it and <laughs> and it's worth it. Cries yeah, is worth it and cries about it every day. Yeah. I mean if you have ETN you probably have already watched it, so I guess it probably doesn't matter, but Louis Lopez rules. Very yeah. <laughs> no spoiler. He just <laughs> just in general. In general, he rules. That's true. I wonder if you can use any of that footage towards his next Sodi. <laughs> They come out with a little mini part at the end of every episode of the winner. You know of all I mean? the tricks. tricks. Yeah, da, mm-hmm. da, 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 da. <laughs> it's not really a part, I suppose. But He's got to win Sodi once. Yeah. But the other show, ATV, you haven't seen any of those, right? No. Yeah, those are pretty cool. I've seen two now so far. It's, and, a, uh, it's a very cool premise. It's a really cool premise. The, the place is lit up so you can see the whole park now, which is cool. Mm-hmm. But it's like five or six different disciplines. And then the two people, uh, either they, I think they flipped a coin yeah, I think and that's then, what I saw. Yeah, and then you pick the you pick the spot transition flat bar flat ground ledge. Mm-hmm. You know, it was five different things, and then you only get three letters, and you don't get a second try on the last one. So it's like ATV you're looking for ATV. Those are the letters. You and, don't want to get them like skate. No, no, no. Like if you you're playing skate, uh huh. So as, as soon as you got ATV, you're out. But what I'm saying is that on the last trick, you don't get a second try. Mm. You're just out, and then they move on. And you just get three. You just get three yeah. And then tries. they move on to the next scene because you got to get three out of five of the events. Okay, you know what I mean. So they mm-hmm. they kind of blow through them. Not a lot of extra stuff. It kind of seems like all of the other games of skates that are out there, like mm-hmm. Mano Mano and then mm-hmm. Grinds and Slides. It's just all of them. 
into it's one. Very, it's very, very similar. Do they do a flat crown section? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's okay. one of the options, but okay. only if it gets chosen. So the guy that wins that one gets to pick the next one. So you could go oh. through and just win the first three and you're done. Okay, you sure, sure, I mean? sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But if it goes back and forth, you could end up playing five of the things. Because mm-hmm. you got to get, get three mm-hmm. to win. What are the f- flat ground? Flat ground ledge. Quarter. Flat bar. The quarter pipe. And uh, maybe it's a round bar or something. There's like, there's definitely five. Okay. But. Uh, yeah, I haven't seen that one. Yeah, it's pretty cool. But they're cool. making really cool events. Yeah, it's really cool. And it's Bam and uh, his buddy Winkle. Uh-huh. Dude, that guy is hilarious. <laughs> That's what you're saying? <laughs> it is. It's just funny to watch. And he says some funny stuff, dude. Uh-huh. You know? And he's like the judge, basically. If he says it's good, it's good. Like, uh-huh. And Bam is, Bam just, is, Bam just, is just there to just chill. And just, just loving it. And he is just stoked on everything. Uh-huh. He's just like. Like he just gets blown away, uh huh. But he looks really bloated. <laughs> like he's just hung he had, over or he something. Had a, I don't know. He's had does. a he's had a long he's life had a already. Rough life, but yeah. dude, I love that show. Their commentary is funny between those two. They, mm-hmm. You never see Bam skate or anything. He's just sitting on the bench. Uh huh. Every now and then you see from a different angle, and you'll see them in the background where they're sitting, and you just see there's Eric Bragg and a couple of camera dudes, and they mm-hmm. just film. They're just hovering over those two guys, and they sit in the middle, but. I don't know if it's just because they're hitting different spots. It's just you finally get to see the place with lights. Do they light the whole thing? The whole, whole place is just up? lit the whole thing. There's no mm-hmm. shadows like that let it ride. Like that uh-huh. thing is just it's so dark. They've done I mean, they've done other things where, with the lights too. But like at the barracks, man, whenever they do any of those things, like Battle Commander or like oh, all yeah. those edits are so dark. It's like uh-huh. they're out at night with a generator on. You know, they, mm-hmm. they're trying they to put re- the, But I mean what that what scene. that's for the best best light probably i don't think so i think it's you don't just think the style so? the only reason why people i think went out at night and lit it up with generators because there's no people no 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 at the barracks that's i think just aesthetic that's chase mm. wanting it to look cool i agree it looks cool mm-hmm. the contrast everything's dark but I'm, it's got to be so difficult to skate yeah because i mean they're constantly it's like so dark switching the lights around well no i'm saying you're coming in and out of shadows yeah you know you're slipping out oh, i think whatever. it'd be hard to skate just because you have to like kind of reset and then skate oh, another that's, that's a photographer's job yeah you know, whatever that's that's chase that's on chase not the skater yeah you know but i'm just saying that's that's chase's style yeah he's, he's made a name for himself and i'm not ripping on it i'm just saying it's so difficult to see sometimes when it's so dark on the uh-huh. etn set but that's what i think they're just trying to recreate is that dark shooting at night renegade no people in the you know uh-huh. in the public square we're gonna go with that plaza i was just thought it was like they're trying to get the best light and maybe no, because there's the people lights. around all day. You're hitting all these... No, 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 not like at a street spot, yeah. at like the barracks. If you or... wanted to get the best light, you would not turn the lights off and then <laughs> shine it. it with a flashlight. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It, it would be out in the sunlight would be the best. Yeah. You know? You're always trying to recreate the sunlight. Well, the golden hour is like midday. When it's no, coming golden down... golden hour is... is just before sunset. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. what I'm... Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I mean, we're always just trying to recreate sunlight. Yeah. But yeah, those dark scenes are just kind of weird. So I don't know. We're now in a cinematic bend. <laughs> this whole show you got is your favorite, been... got your favorite black and white movies. <laughs> I don't think I've ever. Oh, um, Trip to the Moon, first movie ever made. Really? Nin- nineteen was it? Nineteen o two? A talkie was it? Uh... Yeah, it had the word. Yeah, yeah, it had the words. Mm-hmm. Or I mean, no, that was a silent film. The first one where they had audio was a talkie. Yeah. You're talking about a silent movie, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Was it Charlie I think Chaplin? It was ni- no, it wasn't Charlie Chaplin. I think it was 1902. 1902, 1904. I don't know. It was on Netflix recently. Yeah, but what team was he on? <laughs> this, is a, this is a skate video you're yeah. talking about, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're talking about real movies a tri- here. <laughs> a trip to the Moon would be a cool skate video. Yeah. It's like su- a Danny Way one. He's sued right away. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> he, he does like he does a method air over the moon. Uh huh. Yeah. He builds, he finally builds the mega ramp that gets him to the moon. What if he teams up with Elon Musk and he goes out on a spaceship and as Damn. it's orbiting, he does a trick, you know, like the highest air. <laughs> Damn. Get in contact with Elon yeah, Musk. Something like that. I mean, uh, Tony Hawk and Jaws, right? They did the, uh, um, the no gravity, mm-hmm. but you're in an airplane. The no gravity thing is kind of, I mean, isn't that kind of stupid? Because the whole point of skating is the gravity, <laughs> I'm like sure. the hard part of I'm it. Sure. But if you was it Tony fun? Hawk, Probably. You, if you invite Tony Hawk, you think he's not going to want to take a skateboard for sure, right? And if and like as Jaws, you're going to say no to that? Never. Yeah. No, I think that's of course it's not necessary. Mm-hmm. But really, what 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 is, else are they? What is <laughs> what necessary? Is necessary? Fair. <laughs> oh man. 
But okay, talking to Tony Hawk and Gravity, uh huh. I posted this picture. I know it's not a brand new photo, but it's something that Tony Hawk had just recently posted. And it's this doubles trick that he does with Andy Mack, where Andy Mack is doing a full blown Andrecht invert, which is like a method air. It's backside, but his, fo- his front hand is like behind his front foot, like full stretch Andrecht. But he had to stretch it out because above him, Tony Hawk is doing a backside <laughs> hand plant <laughs> Another on the board, invert. dude. I think, well, I mean, yeah, they're full on inverted. Uh huh. I think there's differences between hand plant. There's too many differences between tricks. Uh huh. The nuances. We're talking about uh, switch Bennett's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> front side, front side, whatever front, front side into Bennett? that. There's got to be a name for that. But, dude, this photograph of Tony Hawk doing an invert on Andy Mack, who's doing an invert on this massive half pipe, is just so intense. That timing needed yes, to be that's perfect. A, I wonder how long it took, how many tries. There's got to be video footage of it. The, oh, yeah. The bales are just huge. Yeah. I mean, Tony Hawk is literally eight feet in the air before he grabs And if on. Andy's not there, right, Tony's yeah. going straight, you know, Tony's eating shit. Yeah, I mean, you probably just go right to, that's probably why he's doing that invert because he can go to his knees easier, I would oh, imagine. Oh, yeah. He can kind of see the, he can see the yeah. ground better. None yeah. of them are doing front side where it's more blind. Yeah. yeah they're going backside. It, you know, I'm sure that's not coincidence. All right, now I want hmm. invert, mm-hmm. board straight up. Like a ho-ho? No, somebody doing somebody a ho-ho do a, on top. Somebody, somebody doing yeah. a manual on the board. <laughs> the board doesn't yeah. have wheels. The bo- wait, wait, wait. Yeah, the wheels are up. So Day could, you, song, do, could you do a dark slide on the wheels of somebody doing a ho-ho? <laughs> somebody doing a ho-ho, boards up. What if they do the like ho-ho? like a board slide. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Uh-huh. Uh, you do the ho-ho and you flip the board so it's upside down. And okay. then you could board. Somebody else could do a somebody lip slide on, on the board. Or man. It would have to be like primo. <laughs> could do a manny up there yeah or, or uh, a tail slide jump onto it <laughs> these are do, all possibilities hang on, hang on ho-ho flip the board uh-huh. another ho-ho <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna need three dudes <laughs> little kids ribs man ribs man's no. got that ho-ho now he, yes so hang on we've got a couple of small kids that are getting like really good right so you get like uh uh what's his name um I don't, I'm not sure their names, but like these little kids are like 10, Palmer. 10 years old, 11 years old that are ripping these bowls. Uh-huh. Get them to first stack the ho-hos. So that way, the, when, the, when the final <laughs> trick is not Wait. adult size, you're only going up six feet after, but you're the third person. Yeah, up. but who's the one on top? The adult? <laughs> Eric. That crushes no, the yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Eric when, kills Winkowski the kid. is up on the top. No, you might probably wear Yeah, Winkowski on the bottom. First yeah, ho-ho. Winkowski on the bottom ho-ho. Then a kid, kid on a kid up. on each foot. <laughs> <laughs> two two uh isn't there a one year old skater? Get him to hit that ball. <laughs> that little Japanese kid flying around. No, I saw one I thought it was a I thought he was American. Uh a one year old yeah. and he was going down like Oh you firecracking. Like firecrack- yeah, yeah. I didn't see that one. Doesn't is that the one with the diaper sponsor, I think? <laughs> oh, I don't know, is it? There was one. There with a diaper a, sponsor? Yeah, there was a kid with a diaper sponsor. Damn, yeah. that's actually a pretty good sponsor. <laughs> right. <laughs> those parents those right. parents are like yes. Right. Take a dump all you want. <laughs> These are paid for. Yeah, that is pretty funny. But yeah, it's some sort of a stackable ho ho combination. I mean, that's the only way to step this trick up. Yeah, you know. I mean, this one's come on at this point. Yeah, just, come on, get with it, guys. Yeah, Tony, who? <laughs> yeah, I mean, we have seen stuff where even amongst our crew, where somebody's doing a fifty fifty grind, and then you pop up a tail stall on uh-huh. the board. That was like a king of the road trick. Yeah. Right. So who's to say you couldn't do a tail slide off of the ho ho? You know what I'm saying? Off a really board. tall one. Mm-hmm. Come up there and just like tap that off should be, that. That should be King of the Road. King right. of the Road next year. Dude, ho, would, ho, grind on top. That would be a good trick. Yeah. That'd some sort s- Yeah, some sort of so trick sick. off of the board, off of a ho-ho. You have to kind of like... Something, uh, just anything. You know like that a pivot. crook grind? Oh, a pivot? Uh, anything. You know that like crook grind where mm-hmm. you grab the uh And then yank tail? it in? Yeah, you yeah. kind of like just touch it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I know yeah, what you're yeah. The front side nose, like, yeah, tail grind. Go to ho-ho. Yeah. Lizzie's got that. Yes. Yes. Wait, who's got the ho-ho? Winkowski. Not a birdhouse. Uh, th- who said it birdhouse has to be birdhouse? Have... The birdhouse isn't on King of the Road. No. They, didn't they like win out? When is that coming out? <laughs> Better be soon, man. I'm Jones and it. It's soon, gotta right? be soon, I don't even remember the teams. I, I know. It's like, uh, I don't care. I don't even want to think about it. I'll let <laughs> it be a surprise. It's going to be awesome yeah. no matter what. Yeah. I'll a death wish it. for sure because Jamie's out there. And it, isn't it real? Because it wasn't Zion also. It was no, because Death Wish was last year. 
Who's Jamie on? Definitely. That's what I'm saying. He's out. He did this last King of the Road. We have not seen Jamie on King of the Road yet. But he was out there. There was yeah. We saw Jamie on King of the Road. Remember? Oh, you're right. Yeah. yeah, you're right. He was with Lizzie. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. I don't remember who. No, I remember there. he did that crazy switch that that body burial fifty down the thing where they were wearing those Olympic suits. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I remember mm-hmm. it now. You're right. You're right. I, I don't remember who it I is. I was just hoping I could see more Jamie. <laughs> That's all. It's not enough for you. <laughs> it's still not enough. Oh man. Yeah, I'm not sure. Turn him am for this weekend. <laughs> just for the weekend. <laughs> so he could just go Jimmy, clean up. you're going to be am. Right? Did you see any of the lower Bob Peastone Invitational? I posted yes. it. Did you watch the yes. whole thing? Or just I didn't, some of no, it? I didn't get to watch the whole it's thing. It's a long one. Mm-hmm. But man, it's like such retro 80s editing. Mm-hmm. The way I <laughs> love it. It was so good. But man, Grant Taylor just buzzing around that place. And uh-huh. he ended up only getting second. Oh, did he? After I all of that. I don't think Rainy I saw- Bears, dude. Just, oh I don't remember gosh, who I dude. saw. I think I only saw the first or second heat. It was so there was good. a lot of heat. A lot of heats. Yeah. Cord- Cody Lockwood. Man. But watching Grant just like cruise around that place. You're talking about being able to like... He never pushed. Uh-huh. He's just pumping in and out of everything. Mm-hmm. So, He's got a beautiful... I mean... It's And that perfect. says something too. A beautiful pump. Everything about it is... Uh-huh. I've, well, I've never seen him <laughs> in the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> Ask his wife. Is he new? Yeah, isn't oh, he? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think he just, I mean, he's like on the down low, I think, like, especially social media. Like, you don't really oh, see him yeah. doing interviews. He lets his skating talk. But, like, yeah. if you follow him, like, his stories and things, you see him and his wife but, doing I mean, stuff. I think his wife's pretty hot, too. He's that good that, like, he can be on the, like, he doesn't need doesn't a lot of need coverage. It. Yeah. Yeah. He's just cashing all them checks. The other, like, the sponsors the, are, like, happy to, to film him. Hell yeah. He's not, like, trying to, they're like, oh, we got we got some of this gold. He probably never gets put on any kind of, like, real assignments. No. Because he's got so much stacked of just, probably just. Just skating. Wherever. He just goes to, like, a barbecue. Yeah. He's just hanging out with the Thrasher crowd. And, you know, Rhino seems to always be there. Mm-hmm. You know, so as long as Rhino's there and Grant's there, there's going to be something to get. When was the last time he put out a... I mean, they're all kind of parts the of Nike the Nike SB Spitfire. one. Um, he had one of those um, Chronicles or something. Yeah, but that was that was a couple of years now, right? That might be the last real part of his. I don't know. I would I would agree, yeah. The, the, mm. Wasn't it Chronicles 3? Might have been. Mm-hmm. But they were putting those other other little parts out. He was that on the Spitfire edits. Mm-hmm. He was in those. But like know, Grant but Taylor the part. The thing is, is that like, I even noticed it when I was filming Jake, mm-hmm. like some of those edits that I was, where I was filming him, it's like, he, it's just the runs and runs mm-hmm. and run. it's not like you can, you don't need to just clip parts, clip the trick out mm-hmm. because you just watch him go. Mm-hmm. So it's like, he's got sections of videos where it's just the Grant part, mm-hmm. you know, it he might not be a spot going. where he's like, I really tried hard to do these 18 tricks mm-hmm. you know, or, he, or specific he'll just blast them all out in one go and just like oh here's eight minutes of Grant enjoy but that's what's sick about Jake is like or that discipline and Hans too yeah there was once one of those things in the, it was like 10 or 11 tricks so just let them all go no, uh-huh. I'm not gonna why, what, what's I sick that? about that that discipline is then you like when you want something you mm-hmm. can actually like oh yeah focus on one trick you, He's yeah you just can like, just perfect it it's like right, I'm gonna take a nap how many? What we got? Four hours here. When's golden <laughs> much, hour? Yeah. When's golden? Hour? <laughs> how much? How much footage do you need by tonight? All right. I can, golden hour is like a good ten minutes. He's I like, can put. I can put that together. What do you want to do the other seven? This is like me at work. I'm like, <laughs> when should I actually work? Yeah. I'm just waiting to do shit. Oh man. Yeah, I don't know. He's a. He's a. I don't know if he's a phenom. I mean, I know there's footage of him as a kid. He was just always, always good. Mm-hmm. A prodigy. Mm-hmm. Prodigy. Yeah. I guess whatever you want to call it. I, just, I, just, I love I, how many people. I, I want ten percent of his of his style. Yeah, I want any any part of hitting ramps yeah. and. All right, so basically, Grant Taylor, we all love you. <laughs> true, very true. That's all. That's this whole podcast is just so that I can maybe meet Grant one day. <laughs> yeah, this is what it's all been for. <laughs> that's what it's all. I'm for. actually, you know, I've been thinking actually anti-hero board lately. Yeah, I would like to try one. Yeah. I mean, it's fun just having my own boards. I haven't bought. I haven't gone to you know go buy a board in a long uh-huh. time. But yeah, anti anti hero might be the one I would go to. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm kind of getting hyped on that right now. I really dug that Grasso one. It was like the silver bullet. It was all silver. Mm-hmm. I like that one. They have new series out where it's religious figures mm-hmm. with like a Santa hat on, <laughs> or like there's one like where the, it's like religious figures, <laughs> right? Like and the then it's a hot. phone with an a butt on it. <laughs> it's a the really cool series. I want to check that out. Mm-hmm. And everyone on Brandon Matt, Anderson? Matt has them. Matt and yeah. Anthony. Mm-hmm. Or Brandon. Last name's Anthony. Brandon. 
Antihero? Yeah, mm-hmm. he has Antihero. They all, yeah, Matt mm-hmm. all the time goes mm-hmm. Antihero. I've never had one. I don't know. I'm, I'm still sitting on those two Death Wish boards. I've never done Death Wish. Well, there you go. I got two Death Wish tattoos. Look at you. That's why Joe got Poser. Them. She's like, yeah, she's like, come on, you gotta at least ride one. <laughs> she's like, I'm so happy you're finally riding one. <laughs> you're a brand baby. I'm all day. Shake right. John. Shake John. Oh, man, shake anything else? Uh, anything else I'm missing that you want to talk about? Welcome. How about Dvargs and his uh, no comply grind? Yeah, and uh, congrats, Ryan Townley. Yeah, Ryan Townley, Going way to pro. go, dude. Yeah, that was a sick edit in Transworld Park. Welcome is a solid team, man. Dvargs and that dude Carl. That does most of, you know, with Dvargs and that guy Carl in transition with Nora. Mm-hmm. Psh, dude, that's... Stacked. Yeah, dude, I want to King see of the, a, them on King of the Road. I want to see a whole nother welcome video. Because what was that one that they... Fetish? Uh, fetish. That was really good, but I would like to see another one. Me, yeah. Mm-hmm. Keep it coming. Yeah. <laughs> more more footage. Oh, man. What was that other one, deal? Uh, that young spliff. That guy. Remember he did that... Oh, what the was it, kick, kick flip, flip up to no up comply? to the ledge, the no comply out in one big giant step. Uh-huh. That was pretty he kick cool. Flipped, he almost kick flipped over the whole that ledge. Was, that was pretty cool. Yeah. That guy usually, you know, he's like super trendy with all his little. Oh, yeah. And that trick Louis is Vuitton super trendy. And his back, his little fanny packs and mm-hmm. all the things that you want. No, I hate I hate the Louis Vuitton grip. Yeah, I see so many people. Him well, and the one, uh, there was one where he just everything was Louis Vuitton, and he uh-huh. I think his even thing was just like haters. You know, he's like calling out. <laughs> I get I, it. I, I get it. I hate but the dude, like rich side of things. That kickflip no comply, dude. Was that very, was really very cool, mm-hmm. especially up and over. That box was big. I mean, it was like yeah. an eight foot ledge mm-hmm. to take it in one stride. Yeah, gnarly. Very gnarly. Yeah, no joke in that. As goofy as you want to call him, that was serious. Yeah, and, and as much as you want to hate on like a no comply out of mm-hmm. that, super super gnarly. Yeah, that's good. I don't think I would ever hate on a no comply. Was it They're a one eighty two? The no comply one eighty, right? He didn't just no comply out of no it. No comply shove. But no, I don't I think remember. He, I now. think he, they do. I think he did that one eighty one that everybody does. That's looks easy and it's not. Oh, like you're. Ch- oh, yeah, I got you, you. You know, you just you 180 and come out fakie. Mm-hmm. It looks cool. Everybody does it. Mm-hmm. I've seen a. I never do no complies correctly. Hmm. I always. No, get, yeah, you, I always yeah, get hit yeah. in the shins. Yeah, yours is not even. I Remember, do we, like, we've talked about this. Yours is not really. Yeah, yours is some, I, but yours I do is like the weird. Ch- I do the weird trend one. There are people that like go downstairs and hit it with their other foot. You know what I mean? Have you do s- they call it no comply, or do they just call it some? Sort I don't of know what that's called. All right. I don't, know, I don't know what the fuck that is. <laughs> it's like an anti-pressure flip. <laughs> People always thought it was cool. Like, Ryan always thought it was cool when we it first It does met. look cool. I, I'm not saying it doesn't look cool. It's just not... I always, just, I always hate it because it's not the right one. It's just not a no comply, that's all. Yeah. It is what it is. Yeah. It's just, you know, if you want to do this other thing, you just do it differently. Uh-huh. So, well, I, I want to do a no comply. Maybe it's up to you to name it. I don't know if I'm the... You know what? Fuck it. I did create it. <laughs> it's a... Uh, I'll get you next I didn't show. say you created it, but in your little world, you I did. get to coin it. You, you could coin your version of uh-huh. it until you see somebody um, else say, no, that's this. I wish as somebody as, would say that to me. Unless you do it in front of Jeff Grasso and he can, <laughs> or, or, uh, I'll send or it into Jeff Grasso. What's his name on, uh, on Chocolate Girl? I mean, uh, what's his name? Mike Carroll. <laughs> oh, yeah. Him and Grasso. He'll can, tell me. He can argue over what it's called. Uh-huh. The two oh, I do not. I'd. I'd feel more comfortable sending it to Grasso than Carol. I feel like Carol would instantly be like, this is shit, your yeah. shit. <laughs> I was watching something about the name. You know what the name No Comply is from? Mm-mm. So it's from those old videos with like Nottis Coppice. I think he might have even been done the first one. I thought it was Nottis. Yeah, I think it. he uh-huh. did the first one and it was he was like on Santa Monica Airlines was the was the skate brand. Okay. and uh, But it was That's like, cool brand. it didn't last very long. Uh-huh. And no, you can find Airlines. a couple of boards with like, you know that had his name and so mm-hmm. you, know, you know like if you're in the vintage uh skateboards at all you can mm-hmm. see them sometimes Some steve caballero well, he's got the 60s boards where yeah pre-grip mm-hmm. but uh it was something about don't comply to the curb they were skating curbs mm-hmm. and it was like you just go through it don't comply to that curb go over it no it was john lucero lucero did the first ones oh but it was around the time with Nottis too there uh-huh. was the two of them were going crazy but i think it was lucero that did it uh, the first don't ones, but it was curves. yeah. Don't comply to the curve. You just you just kind of pop through it. You just you know the trick is to just kind of you don't comply to it. Uh huh. That's where that's the name. That's cool. where the name came from. But as it pops up, it hits your knee and goes over. Mm-hmm. But man, did you see the one that I just sent you from that guy that films for Crooked Path or whatever underscore Path? Oh yeah, I did. Dude, with, with Sebo doing that uh-huh. dude, crazy little weird left foot shove. No comply. He does it back foot. Dude, it's so weird. Mm-hmm. So weird. 
So you look at his stuff. His are all weird, super crazy variations uh-huh. on that too. But just his like looks, yours is. His looks so stylish. His looks though. so stylish. <laughs> his looks so stylish. The way he just kind of just shoves them into things. Yeah, shoves it. What was that one that also the guy did it up against the wall where it went behind the pole but it spun vertically? It did like that no complaint. Oh flip, yeah, that and hippie it, jump. Yeah, it was like a hippie jump, but yeah, sideways. Yeah. Yeah, that was weird. I don't. Yeah, <laughs> I don't get how. Oh, you know what's funny about that? That was from that Skate Mafia video that came out? Yes, yes. Low-key, uh, 20, 25-minute Skate Mafia video. Good stuff, dude. No, no, no. It came out last night. Yeah. A oh, another one. one? Yeah. What's it called? Uh, uh, Don't dude, Feed I, the Bum. I love those guys. Dumb. Something West bum. Wes Kramer all over it. Yeah. I, I turned it on this morning because yeah. I'm like, no, it can't be. And it's like Wes Kramer, yeah, like tray flip over a can. And I'm like, I stopped it. And I'm like, I got to show him. <laughs> Oh, we'll see. Well, now we got we'll something else it. to watch. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, let's get the hell out of here. It's almost yeah. an hour. Phoenix AM going to go going skate on. for a bit. Let's, let's watch gnarly. some Phoenix getting... AM. Yeah, let's go. I'm, I'm going to do coming. from blunts today. I want to see you try. Let's get it. I want to see you do it. Yeah. All right, dude. Love you. Thanks love for you. Uh, coming out here, being in the studio. Thanks, yeah, everybody. Yeah, hell yeah. Skatetoast.com, olddudeskateco.com, wherever. Later. Pay- whatever. Uh, <laughs> PayPal.com. <laughs> Vimo me $10,000. A little bit. That'll cover the new microphone that Aaron just blew out. Later. Old Dude Skate Co.